And now, Fight Fans, live on Sky Sports Friday Fight Night, Frank Maloney Promotions in association with your proud sponsors, StanJames.com, Red Square Vodka, CYC, and Tie Dye Hair Products proudly present 10 three minute rounds of boxing for the heavyweight championship of England. We go firstly to the red corner where we have your challenger, wearing the black trunks with white trim. He comes from Manchester and weighs in at 17 stones, nine pounds. He enters the ring with an undefeated seven fight professional record, seven wins. All seven of those wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome Tyson Fury. And we go across the ring to the blue corner where we have your champion wearing the blue and white trunks. He fights out of Horndon and weighs in at 18 stones, one pounds. He enters the ring with an impressive 35 professional record, 25 wins, 16 of those wins done by way of knockout against only five defeats. Please welcome Big John McDermott. Good shots from McDermott and Fury is in a fight for the first time. And look at that from McDermott. He is not used to this kind of pressure, Fury. They're up in the heads. Narcinus at the bell. No. McDermott in with a head. And that he's having Fury's a ticking off. Him. But Terry O'Connor has gone into that corner. Long, long reach. Cut, close down that reach and put the pressure on. Aimed that right hand over the top, and that started to chop Fury off. Take him out of his stride and break him down. It's the only time it's ever happened. He showed a good chin against Danny Williams, McDermott. Well, that was the full-blooded right hand from Fury. He's taken it, and he's still walking forward. Fury boxing better this round. He's finding a bit of space. Oh, good left hand from McDermott. Yeah, right from Fury. But a left in return from McDermott, who's also got 16 knockouts in his 25 wins. McDermott showing his experience. He did, the way he was whipping in the right hands. You know, he took the fight, he, he nullified the jab, which, you know, we were expecting to be the, the, the predominant weapon from Fury. See, Fury needs to be walking forward with the jab, but he's backing off, and if the jab lands, McDermott is able to come right through it. And the body shot there was good. A good response from Fury, but that's another round to make them on Maka. Second half, English heavyweight title on the line. It's a crossroads one, it's a battle of pride too. And a right hand from McDermott at the beginning of the session. Head down, gets stuck in at times, he threw a blind right hand over the top. Coming back with whipping left uppercuts straight up the middle of uh, 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 Fury's guard. But Fury's determination and guts, yeah. at times when you thought he was starting to will, you know, come both, out with a quick Both flow. fighters in this fight had such a great attitude. McDermott wanted to prove he was the better man, he was the more experienced. Fury didn't deserve to be in there with him. And Fury showed great tenacity, kept firing back, you know, very determined, throwing lots of punches. Away from the controversy, it was terrific entertainment. John, John. In your mind, how did you score that fight? Listen, I thought, going into the last round, my corner told me, John, you're in front, you're at least four rounds in front, keep on him. I thought the last round was level. I thought I well nicked it. I honestly thought I nicked it. Try and tell us how you're feeling now after a verdict like that. You know how, it's absolutely ridiculous. I beat Danny Williams hands down in, in, in Dagenham. And, I, and I, they give it away. No, no, I beat, him, I beat someone, I give him an English title, they give it away again. What have I got to do to win here? I'm a nice guy, I don't, I don't believe I'm people down. I'm a nice, genuine guy. He's the one shouting his mouth off. I know he's a nice guy, maybe he's a nice guy down to her, but he's the one with a big mouth. And I'll, I'll, I'll get penalised for it. He did say he'd give you a rematch, do you want one? Yeah, I'll have a rematch, yeah, I'll have a rematch, mate. I would definitely, definitely have a rematch. Frank, can that fight happen? Definitely, that was a bigger robbery than the Holyfield Lewis draw, I mean... You know, I obviously, I'm sure to be called up before the ball for my behaviour, but Terry O'Connor is a disgrace to British boxing, what he done here tonight. And doing that, you know, people are like, why do I want to be in a business when you're getting robbed? They like robbery. Dick, he didn't even have a mask on. Dick Turpin at least wears a mask when he robs you. I'm lucky tonight. Well, I feel good. I've just won the English heavyweight title. Um, I knew it was a, 
a tough experienced fighter and it's all in a bank really. Just done 10 rounds there, so I proved to myself I can do the 10 rounds. Showed to the everyone who watched I've got a good chin and I don't fold. Um, Show good stamina really. It was just hard to catch him clean because he was moving around and slipping and sliding. But to be honest that wasn't a good performance from me at all. I, um, I'd rate that a 2 out of 10 from me, to be honest. The only thing I'd rate there was the um, I dug deep and showed out.